is if you're treating your body right. So, yeah, I think that's proud of me for speaking up today. Well, I mean, here's the whole thing with that. I... I love my fans. I'm so grateful for that people care about me and want to know about me and want to are interested in my life. But that was a thing that happened, and it's been over for a while. And I would, I know we both just want to move on, and we're both for friends. We're great. We have a great, we have a wonderful friendship. And it's just when that's all I see every day, day in and day out. It's just. It's not, it's not a thing. We're just friends. We're cool. Like, and I don't want, like, I want people to enjoy me for me and not for that, if that makes sense. But it is what it is. I just, I said it and I put it out there and then I took it down because I didn't want it to be on my feed forever and whatever. I just said it. Not a big deal. I just... And at the end of the day, like, I know it's still going to happen, and that's fine. I just, it's just something I had to verbally put out there, and it's not like a, I'm not angry, I'm not pressed, I just, I just wanted to say it, if that makes sense. Gotta let it go. It was a wonderful moment. I don't want people to forget about it or pretend like it didn't happen because it obviously did and it was a big thing for what it was. But now it's time to not bring it up every five seconds. (laughs) Hi, Tony. If that makes sense. But whatever. Am I going to come to Scotland? I hope so. too my happiness is most important and I'm very happy it's not like I said it's not really affecting my mental well-being or anything it was just something that needed to be said and I'm tired of fucking talking about it also that (laughs) let's talk about something else um I am very happy you'll bottom for me oh wow Okay, that, that's night skincare tricks. Um, drink lots of water before bed. Um, I like Kiehl's facial oils. I'm not crying. <laughs> there are no tears in my eyes. Um, cheese. Let's, let's talk about cheese. And Dragon New York. Let's talk about that. Um, yeah, Kiehl's facial oils are great. I love anything Kiehl's, really. I cannot wait to see you at DragCon. Um, DragCon's going to be fun. I'm excited I'm doing that fashion panel on Sunday. I like doing the... Um, the thing, here's the thing. I, I like doing the panels, and I'm excited to do it, but at the same time, DragCon for me is about the fans and meeting and interacting with people. So when I do the when I do a panel, that means time away from my booth, which means time away from meeting people. So it's like a, oh, but it's a a really good um, opportunity, and it's a real an amazing panel. Fucking Isaac Mizrahi and Garo Sparrow and Carson, like it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a good time. Do I ever miss being a professional ballet dancer? No, I do not. (laughs) Thank you, I appreciate that. How do I keep my energy? Um, I don't know. (laughs) Red Bull. What about my booth? So what am I going to do for my booth? Oh... It's going to be like a color blocking situation. You don't have to wait and see. I'm not, it's not, it's going to be pretty. Oh, I can't wait to see for Calgary. I'll see you soon. 
any advice for dancers going through a tough spot technically? Um, practice, 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 practice. Um, I do not speak French Canadian. Practice makes perfect, and you have to, a lot of times, if you have a a bad habit when it comes to dancing and it comes to technique. It's all about muscle memory, so you really have to retrain, ret retain, well, retrain your body to um, do things more correctly or do it the right way, which a lot of times means a lot of repetition. So, and just being really conscious of that thing that you're not doing correctly. Yes, Ant, I need to message you. Do you have um, plastic yellow stones, like neon-colored yellow stones? Because I need... I need something done in yellow, and actually possibly pink, too. I would love to be on Fashion Photo Review. That's literally one of my favorite shows. I think, honestly, one of the parts of being on Drag Race I was most excited for was getting to be on Fashion Photo Review. I'm still really upset, though, I have to say, on Fashion. I'm really upset that my fucking zebra look got booted. I'm not upset about it, it's, but it's like, I'm confused. Because that was, like, one of my favorite, like, I thought that was, like, one of the coolest looks I brought. And then I, they booted it, and I was like... And that was like, I, I didn't get a single boot the entire season except for that look. And I was shocked it was that look. But what, what can you do? People's opinions. I love that look. They booted the zebra. They both booted the zebra. Because Aquaria doesn't like zebra. Or some one of the one of them didn't like zebra. I don't know, but I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but you also have to keep a sense of humor about this thing. It's just it's not, it's the personal taste thing and whatever. But I just I was surprised that got booted. Where did I get this necklace? I don't know. I stole it back from Steve. Food, baby. I just had the most delicious meal. Oh, thank you, Amped. Perfect. Are you going to be at uh, Dracon? I have like six tattoos. Oh, this line on my stomach. <laughs> so when I put on my um, when I put on all my tights and my pads, I duct tape my waist to like cinch it, and this is duct tape residue. <laughs> Am I going to hip hop dance? Hi, Reggie. I just saw your message. Um, yes, I will um, make sure to get you guest list for the meet and greet. I know. I'm sexy. I have never actually seen a Brooklyn Heights tattoo. I don't think anybody has a tattoo. Well, I'm sure somebody does have a tattoo of me, but I don't know who. No, me and Nina are the worst. We did not get our season 11 tattoos. Hmm. I think that's something that's going to happen when we're drunk one night and we're just, we see a tattoo parlor and we're just going to go. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Take a shower.
Hi. Mitchell? <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm putting in my ear pods so I can hear you. How is it funny that I'm still in Chicago and you're in Toronto already? You're in Chicago still? Yeah. Where are you staying while you're here? Um, I'm staying with my cousin. Here's my Hi, brother. cousin. Hi. <laughs> All right. She's supposed to come um, yesterday, but then she has like a party to go, so yeah. A Filipino party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, a, yeah. A fun Filipino party? Of course. <laughs> when do you get back to Toronto tomorrow? Tomorrow. I'll be doing bus, and then I'll be arriving Wednesday morning. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah. Not <laughs> Just the in bus. time. Just in time for Wednesday. Fun, fun, fun. I know. Are you excited? It's going to be a fun show. It's a good cast. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to show you something on Wednesday about the tattoo. But <gasps> Did gonna... you get a tattoo? I'm not going to spoil it right now. But just wait on Wednesday. Oh, my God. Is it of my face? I don't want to spoil it. Oh just my wait, god, wait, if you got my fucking face tattooed on you, I don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> just wait on Wednesday. Okay, okay. I will wait. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants you to show it now, though. No. No, not yet. No, okay. I cannot That's wait to see it on Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so funny, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> so how's the t-shirt? Did you get a picture with the t-shirt with Detox? No, I left it in Chicago. Oh my! Oh my gosh, Brooklyn, why? Steve's coming. Steve's bringing it tomorrow, though. Okay. S Steve also cut the sleeves off of it and made it into a muscle tank top because he thought that would look better. Yeah, that that was. I was asking if you wanted a tank a uh, tank top or a t-shirt. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna text him right now and remind him to bring it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so because like um you know Libra Michaels she posted mm -hmm. that one right and yeah. I was thinking like I should get like detox in Brooklyn the shirt and then I got to expedite it here on my aunt's place so Bitch, it, it, it smelled like you had just got it off the printer like <laughs> it was fresh from the warehouse they were it was fresh from the warehouse it, it was like it smelled very days, toxic <laughs> like after they delivered <laughs> yes it was so fresh. <laughs> that's good well i can't wait to see you on wednesday yes it's so funny the fact that i'm gonna see you on wednesday again oh i my know God. i think you might hold the record for most performances attended <laughs> <by your> fan. <laughs> well i'm just so lucky i got a weekend off from work so what I do you do what do you do oh i work at mcdonald's i'm a manager over there come on manager mcdonald's <laughs> But then, like, um, I'm a registered nurse in the Philippines. Because you are, uh, that is, like, the official profession of the Philippines. <laughs> I, I, I know so many Filipino people who are nurses. Mm hmm But then, like. My mom is a nurse. Oh. My mom and, like, three of my aunts are nurses, too. Oh, that's cool. Cause it's a great I'm job. Trying, I'm trying to, like, upgrade there. But mm -hmm. then they wanted me to, like, go back to school again and then, like do university so i was like i think i need to like do a break and then save up some money to go to university yeah no, probably well at least it, it'll be easy for you because you already know everything <laughs> so yeah. you, can just be, <laughs> you can just like show at me like i, I already know mm -hmm. so yeah so i'm planning to go back to uh, school next year awesome mm -hmm. and that means no more shows for me Oh. oh so but I hope I still get like chance to like see you somewhere. You will. Of course. I will. Of course. You will. All right. Well I love you. And I, see I you love you. See ya. Bye baby. Love you, bye. Okay, I love you all. I am going to 